guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing three looks using the new Astralis Mesmerize palette. So this palette comes with 20 shades, including mattes, shimmers, and three pressed glitters. It retails for $25.95 and Astralis is cruelty-free and vegan. I am going to be talking through each of the looks, letting you know what shades I use and what brushes. So if you're interested, then stay tuned and let's get straight into the looks. Okay, I lied. Before we get into the tutorials, I'm just quickly going to show you some swatches so you can have a look at all of the shades. Okay, so starting out, I'm going in with my e.l.f. concealer and I'm going to use this as my base. I like to use this Morphe M421 brush to blend it out and I also carve out my brow at the same time. I then like to go in with my Sigma P88 Precision Flat Angled Brush just to tap over the concealer and make sure it's blended out. Now, I'm not going to set this with powder. The e.l.f. concealer does dry down to be quite matte, but it still retains a little bit of tackiness, which I find helps the pigment to be really bold. I'm starting off with my Sigma E25 blending brush and the matte pink shade. And I'm just going to lightly tap this on the inner and outer corners. I'm not going to blend it into the center. I'm just going to keep lightly patting like this to blend it out. I am so impressed with this shade. Look at that pigment. And it's not patchy at all either. So I'm just going to slightly bring this above my crease and to make sure I'm doing that, I constantly open my eye and I can see the fold there. So I'm slightly above here, but I need to pop a little bit more right in here. And then just pat to help blend those edges. All right, so that's the first shade laid down. As you can see, I've left a nice big gap in the center for the spotlight. Next, I'm going in with my Zoeva 231 brush using the peachy shade next to the pink. And I'm just going to tap this over the edges of the pink to blend that out. This is just going to make a really nice transition. And then once I've pat down the color, I can lightly start with little circular motions to blend that out. Next, I'm just going to use my finger with one of the shimmer shades. This one looks like it almost has a bit of a duochrome effect. And I'm just going to pat this into the center and bring it up nice and high above my crease. And then to be a little bit more precise with my application, I'm going in with my Sigma concealer brush. So as I said, I wanna take this shade up quite high so it meets up with the transition shade. I was really inspired by Kim Kardashian's look at the Met Gala. Oh my god, her makeup looked stunning. And I really loved the spotlight style. So I wanted to create something myself using this palette. Now you could just leave it here, but I'm going to add a little bit more dimension using some glitter because that's what Mario said he did for his look. So this here is the Astralis Shimmer Pigment Pot in the shade Nearly Naked. So I don't use glue or anything. I just use the concealer brush and what's on the lid. Lightly dip into that and press that in the center very gently so we don't get a lot of fallout. And then I just want to slightly deepen up the inner and outer corners. So I'm using my Sigma pencil brush and that kind of burgundy shade in the palette. And very lightly, I'm just going to tap this over the bottom, inner and outer corners. Next, I'm taking my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liner and I'm just going to do a very thin line along the lash line. 
Time for mascara. I'm just using my NARS Climax. I'm literally on like the dregs of this. There's hardly any left. Now for the lower lash line, I'm just taking this little bullet brush. It's the Morphe E18 and I'm using the hot pink shade again. This is just going to go right from outer to inner corner. And then back in with the Zoeva 231 and the peach shade to blend out the edges. And then with my Sigma E15 flat definer brush, I'm going to use that deep burgundy shade and get really close to my lower lash line. Then time for a bit more mascara and the false lashes I'm using today are by Ilua. They are from their Luxe range and they're in the style Opulent. I also just like to take a little bit of eyeliner and tight line. All right, so this is look one complete. All right, so for look number two, I've already prepped my eyelid with the e.l.f. Chemo Concealer. I'm going to go in with my Sigma E59 brush and this purple shade. I'm going to pack this on the outer corner and through the crease. Once I've got the color packed down, I like to just lightly buff along the edges. I just find it blends it out a little and it makes it easier to blend the next shade in. So next I'm taking my Zoeva 232 brush. This is a shader brush, but as you can see, the top is quite fluffy. So I'm going to use it to blend out the hot pink shade. So I'm just gonna start with small back and forth motions and go along the edge of this purple. Next I'm going in with my Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush and I'm using this peachy shade here and I'm going to lightly run that along the edges of the pink to blend those two shades together. And then with my Zoeva 234 Shading Brush, this one's just a little bit smaller than the previous one I used. I'm going to go in with this deeper purple and slightly run it through the crease. And then to cut the crease, I'm going back in with my e.l.f. concealer and I'll also be using this M421 brush by Morphe. I know a lot of people like to put the concealer on then look up, but I find on me it goes too high. So I just like to draw on the shape myself. As you can see from this eye, I just like to take it a little bit above my natural crease there. So I constantly open and close this eye just to make sure I'm getting it above the crease. And then I just like to tap on the outer edge to soften that concealer. I just find it helps the eyeshadow blend better. Now I'm going in with my Sigma F70 brush and I'm going to use this to apply the shimmer shadow to the lid. And then the step I can't miss when I'm doing a cut crease is going in with my Sigma E, E15. I use it so much that the label's worn off, so you'd think I'd remember the name. But anyway, this is just a really flat definer brush. I take a bit of the dark shade that I used and I run it along the edge of the crease to help define it because I'm not the neatest when I'm laying down my concealer. Then I'm going back in with that first purple shade we used to fix up the outer edge. And then in with that maroon shade to deepen it up even further. All right, so they are the lids done. I'm going to go ahead, apply my face and I'll be right back to do the under eyes. And then for my lower lash line, I'm taking my Zoeva 234 brush and that first purple shade we used, and I'm just going to run this from inner to outer corner. 
And then with my Sigma E15, the maroon shade, and I'm going to also dip into this darker shade. I'm going to smudge this really close to the lash line. And finally, some mascara and a nude liner to put in the waterline. All right, so this is look two complete. All right, so the third look, I'm going to be doing something a bit more simple. I'm starting off with this peachy shade and using my Morphe E14, I'm going to stamp this throughout my crease and on the outer corner and then blend it out with my Sigma, ooh, E, E35. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with this beautiful shimmery shade and I'm just going to apply this with my finger to the outer corner of my eyelid. I like to deepen up the outer corner, but in this palette, there aren't really any medium matte shades. So that's why I'm going in with the shimmer. I like to just bring that up a little bit into my crease as well. And then I'm going in with the shimmer shade above that and again, using my finger to apply that to the rest of my lid. So I take that slightly into my crease and then just pat it along the edge of that other shimmer shade to blend it out. For my lower lash line, I'm going in with my Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm using the darker shimmery shade and putting this all along the lower lash line. Then I like to go in with my Zoeva 231 and that first peachy shade we used to blend that out. And that's literally it. I'm going to apply some mascara and that is the eye done. All right guys, well there you have it. Three looks using the new Astralis Mesmerize palette. Overall, I really enjoyed this palette. The mattes are beautiful, they blend easily, and the shimmers are nice and pigmented as well. I do find they work better on a wet base though, as opposed to a dry. When I put the shadow under my lower lash line, what I've already set, I find that I do have to build the shade up more than what I do when I'm using it on my lid on a wet base. You might be wondering, why the hell didn't you use the glitters? Like, hello, they're the new exciting thing in this palette. Well. I did try using them in the second look, but oh, <sighs> it was just not happening. They are really pretty shades, but I found once I put them on my eyelid, they were just so chunky and it just looked really, really messy. So I'm hoping you can tell from these swatches just that they're a bit thick and chunky. As you can see, I dipped into this pink shade so much because I was trying to get it to work. I think I redid the look maybe three times using the glitter and every time I was just like, I had to wipe it off. It did not look good. I even tried using it with a glitter glue, hoping it would smooth it out a bit. And it kind of did, but from a distance, it's still just, I just wasn't a fan. If you're after some glitter though, I highly recommend the Shimmer Pigment Pots from Astralis. I have three of them here and I absolutely love them. They are loose glitter, but they are super, super fine. You don't have to use a glitter glue. They just go on beautifully and the sparkle that they give is just so pretty. There are quite a few shades in the range. I have a gold, more of a coppery bronze and a light shimmery pink. This is the one I used in the first look. So unfortunately, not a fan of the glitters in the palette, but these are really good. I think that the Mesmerize palette is a really great palette to have alongside your Neutralize. In the Neutralize, there aren't a lot of light matte shades. So having the Mesmerize as well really gives you a lot to play with and experiment with. 
In the end, if you love the shades in this palette, I would definitely recommend it. I have been obsessed with the Astralis palette formula ever since I tried the Neutralize palette. It's definitely a standout when it comes to eyeshadow palettes in Priceline. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed watching today. Make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite look was, one, two, or three. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to have a browse and check out my channel. I hope you will subscribe. And if you want some more videos featuring any of the Astralis palettes, I will link everything that I have down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.